Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and complete Lightroom workshops on video available at laurashu.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename your Lightroom catalog. Sometimes when we upgrade from one version of Lightroom to the next, our catalog names become rather cryptic. Now I'm using Lightroom 5 and you can see up here in the top left that my Lightroom 5 catalog has a name of Lightroom 4 catalog-2-2. Now on a Mac, you would see what your catalog name is in the center area here. Now I should point out that Lightroom doesn't care what the catalog is called, what the file name is, in other words. Lightroom 5 is working perfectly fine with this cryptic catalog name. So we could keep it just as it is, but of course I find it useful to have file names that reflect what the files actually are. To get to your catalog, you'll go to Edit on a PC or Lightroom on a Mac, and then down to Catalog Settings. On the General tab, Lightroom shows us where the folder is that our catalog is in. So mine's a Lightroom folder within my Pictures folder. And again, my file name is Lightroom for Catalog-2-2 dot lrcat. Now be sure to write this catalog file name down for the next step, because you may have other catalogs in your catalog folder from older versions of Lightroom, and you don't want to accidentally rename and start using one of those. To get to this location, I'll click on the Show button and Lightroom will open up a Windows Explorer or a Mac Finder window with our catalog folder highlighted. Now before I change the catalog file name, I need to close Lightroom. So I'll leave this window open, I'll come over to Lightroom, I'll close out of catalog settings, and I'll close the program. I'll skip the backup. Now that Lightroom is closed, I'll open up the catalog folder by double clicking on it, and I'll single click on the catalog file to select it, and then I'll single click again to get into the text to rename it. If you accidentally double click, you're going to launch Lightroom. If so, close the program again and try again. Now let me just mention that if Windows Explorer or Finder is not showing you file extensions, so you don't see the .lrcat, you know which file is your catalog file because it has the Lightroom icon. I'll click and drag and delete the dash 2 dash 2. I'll change this to say Lightroom 5 catalog, and then I'll hit enter or return. Now I also need to rename the previews file to be the exact same thing. So I'll single click and then single click again, delete the dash 2 dash 2, change the 4 to a 5, and hit enter. It's really important on the previews file that you have the same name as the catalog file and then space previews.lrdata at the end. Now while I'm in this folder, let me just mention that you can go ahead and delete catalogs from older versions of Lightroom. If you've upgraded and you're satisfied that all your photos are there and your work is there, you don't need to keep your Lightroom 3 and Lightroom 4 catalogs, for example. Go ahead and delete both the lrcat files and the preview files. Now at this point, let me go back to my pictures file here you could also rename the catalog folder. If you wanted to say Lightroom Catalog, for example, instead of Lightroom, you could also move this folder elsewhere. Once you're finished, you'll come back in to your catalog folder and you'll double click on your renamed Lightroom Catalog, the one with the .lrcat extension. And if you don't see your file extensions, you also know this is the right one because it has the Lightroom icon. So double click on it launch Lightroom with your renamed catalog so that it knows what file to use now. And up here in the top left, you can see that in fact, it's now using my renamed catalog and it makes better sense to me. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to rename your Lightroom catalog. For more free Lightroom tutorials and tips, check out my blog at laurashu.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for my newsletter to hear about new tutorials, tips, webinars, as well as products. And if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel for video updates. I'm Laura Shue.